Hey everyone, Morgan and Baby Rogue here, and we have some important winter survival tips when it comes to your vehicle. She is super excited about it and so am I. Now when it comes to winter survival in your vehicle, there's a lot that you need to take into consideration. So let's get right into it. So first of all, you wanna have your vehicle well stocked. And there's a few different things that you wanna have in your vehicle that you may not have year round, or maybe you would, I don't know, whatever. Um, but first of all, uh, you, you wanna keep things like a well stocked uh, bag, something that you are going to use um, regularly, something that you could take out with you in case you needed to leave your vehicle, though I am about to advise that you don't leave re your vehicle. However, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, when it comes to winter storms, prevention is going to be the key. So if you know that it's gonna be a really bad storm, you know, check the weather. If you know that wherever you're traveling is gonna be a super bad storm, then just try to just avoid it, okay? Don't go out into it if you absolutely don't have to. And in many cases, your life is gonna be more important. Not in many cases, all cases. Your life is gonna be more important than getting to work or, you know, like let's say if you have to pick up a family member, I would say that's a very important task. You know, their life is important as well. So you have to weigh the pros and cons and, and your, the safety and security of yourself because if you can't get to your uh, family member, you know, you get stuck, stranded, buried, whatever, then you're no use to them regardless. So not just a well-stocked bag of first aid, flashlights, a Silcock key, uh, water bottles, uh, food, you know, like snack items, things you don't have to actually cook, things like that. Those are going to be super useful. Um, now, when it comes to your actual vehicle of things that you're going to stock, Definitely have your bag, but what I would suggest with your bag is to actually take it in and out of the vehicle just so um, we make sure we're not uh, getting it stolen or anything like that, or put a blanket over it to kind of hide it. So another thing you're gonna want is something like kitty litter, um, or something that is gonna create traction. You'll want to dig first, so a shovel, they have lots of folding shovels, small lightweight shovels, things like that. Uh, a first aid kit in your vehicle, we have one there. Uh, flashlights in your vehicle. Um, headlamps are probably going to be your greatest asset so that you can be hands free. So, you know, get those headlamps. Um, and then outside of that, just via, uh, food, water, store all that. Uh, cover your water in blankets so that you can try to keep it from freezing in freezing temps. Uh, but usually, if, as long as the water is um, covered up by some sort of, you know, couple blankets or something, it should be fine. Or, or put it in an insulated bag. Um, some sort of blankets, um, like emergency blankets like this, um, or just, and, not or, but and actual blankets. Um, any extra winter clothing, any extra winter boots, anything like that. Uh, tape, hand warmers, uh, tools for your vehicle in case something were to get broken or you had to change a tire or something. Um, <laughs> you have jumper cables. Um, you might also want to consider an inverter. Oh, an ice uh, an ice scraper, like I said, hand warmers. Those are super important, so I say it a couple times because hand warmers are uh, super essential. Put those hand warmers everywhere in your feet, hands. You know, they really work. Um, uh, an external phone battery charger in the bag and in your vehicle, plus the cable to go with your uh, external battery charger and your phone. Um, and also, I would suggest some sort of communication device such as a CB radio, ham radio. Tune your actual radio to emergency uh, services so that you know kind of what's going on, the weather conditions and things like that. Um, and if it is a really, really, really bad snowstorm and you happen to get caught in it, right? It just came out of nowhere, let's say. Um, pull over uh, in a safe spot, a place where you're probably not gonna get, um, you know, buried in snow from like a, a snow plow or something like that. And um, stay in your vehicle. I know this sounds um, super opposite of what everybody always says of you know oh you want to be self-sufficient you know be prepared you know whatever take care of yourself but when it comes to that sort of situation you could actually get yourself in much greater danger by leaving your vehicle um, than you were than you would if you would just stay in your vehicle 
you stay in your vehicle until it becomes safe to venture out to get help or you're staying in your vehicle to reach out to somebody to receive help and always know where you are have a compass map the last thing that you're really going to want in your vehicle so that people can find you is road flares road flares are going to be extremely helpful to put around your vehicle to uh, uh, signal for help glow sticks are going to be helpful as well and of course your flashlight to you know flash people and you know the signs for sos so you can flash sos with your fl uh, flashlight your headlamp always keep your fuel tank Full, especially in the winter especially when it comes to potentially getting caught in snow things like that getting stranded every winter there's always people who are getting stranded in snow and highways and things like that because they're just the snowstorm came and they got stranded on the on the freeway um, it just happens even if you think that it won't you know these things happen so be prepared with the proper appropriate equipment know the weather um, know emergency channels um, and know how to reach out to people with your CB or your ham radio or any other type of radio you know um, have that external battery charger for your phone so you can actually call people if you have service uh, you know but your phone needs to be charged in order for you to be able to call uh, people um, though if you do have some sort of service uh, you should be able to always be able to call 911 and then staying warm is going to be priority with the blankets the survival blanket um, you know if you have a full tank of gas you could potentially turn on your vehicle for a little while um, and heat it but in saying that make sure that the there's no snow in your exhaust always walk around and make sure that you're digging out any snow that could potentially be in your exhaust especially if it's snowing really hard um, dig out that snow in your in your exhaust and continue to do it especially if the snow levels are rising uh, you know suffocation and all some of the best foods to keep in your vehicle uh, is going to be freeze-dried food. So that means that you would have to have something to kind of boil it, like a jet boil or something, something super quick that will just quickly boil water. Um, freeze-dried foods pretty much are good throughout any temp, summer, winter, whenever. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. And there's no special anything that you need with it besides maybe a spoon or a fork, you know. But if you're real hungry, you can just use your hands or something, right? <laughs> And also with the jet boil, if it is snowing, you could get um, the snow and actually melt it so that you could have drinkable water. Um, but in addition to that, you should still also store water 100% in your vehicles. Just wrap it with the blankets, it's totally fine. Keep warm, keep fed, keep hydrated, and keep safe. Use your head in these situations. If you feel stressed, take a minute to calm yourself down, sit in your vehicle, close your eyes, take a few breaths, and create a plan before diving into something and um, realize the risks versus the rewards and figure out an actual plan. Will I be safer sitting here uh, waiting for it to die down in order to go get help or waiting for somebody to come and get me or should I leave right now because this, it's not so bad or, or whatever the case may be. But uh, usually it's going to be better safe than sorry to, to stay, especially if you're feeling like you're stranded, you know. Um, so anyway, this video was inspired by Nando Tech. Thank you so much for your comment uh, suggesting this video and this is great information that everybody should know um, no matter where you live you know whether you get ice snow super bad rainy weather you can get caught in any type of bad weather there was one time in which I was driving and a supremely heavy rainstorm came I had to pull off the side of the road because I literally couldn't see an inch in front of me and I had to wait for the storm to pass um, you know, those things can last a few minutes, they can last hours, uh, it could last days. You just don't know, so you always need to be prepared. Put your additional suggestions to the ones that I put in this video down below in the comments section. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you all later, bye. Okay, the next video is going to be done by Baby Rogue. I think she had it this time, but I was just helping her out. <laughs>